everyone so here I am with a quick hair tutorial literally this is super quick but a lot of you guys have seen me wear this hairstyle on my Instagram and whenever I post it a lot of you have asked for me to do a tutorial so here I am doing a quick tutorial this hair look is a hair look that I did for a recent wild fox shoot and a lot of people ended up liking it and including me I'm like I could totally do this hairstyle so I've been wearing it and it's just super quick and easy. It's great for days where you don't want to do your hair. I love it on the second, third, fourth day hair because yeah, I don't wash my hair that often. So it's great to keep it off the face and have a cool little hairstyle along with it. All right guys, so let's get started. So this is my day two hair. As you guys can see, it's pretty natural. I didn't do anything to it yesterday, so this is how my hair dries naturally. But like I said, this is day two hair. I am going to apply some dry shampoo because I always like a little bit of volume. And I also, if there's any excess oils, I want to get rid of it. So I use my L'Oreal Fresh Dust. Make sure you get it all in there. And just kind of do that. And then you just want to scrub. For the next step, we're just going to grab the top section of our hair and put it into an elastic. It's going to vary from person to person. Do it where it kind of flatters your face shape. For me, I like grabbing a little bit around my hairline because I have a funny looking hairline. <laughs> okay, so literally, there's no, you, you saw how I did it. I literally just grabbed the top section of my hair and I'm ready to put it up in a ponytail with the elastic. I like wearing it a little bit off to the side. So I'm gonna start putting my ponytail off to the side. So there. And on the last round, I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I'm gonna just let it be. Now this is the part where you kind of get creative. It's really to each its own on how the shape that you wanna create. This is what makes it really fun. So for me, I wanna take this out. I'm gonna tuck that back into the ponytail. So there's one. And this is where you have your pins, your little bobby pins. I use a little tiny one. These are from Nishida. If you guys can see it, it's smaller than your average bobby pin. And it has like a really nice grip to it. So from what I've noticed when I use these pins, I tend to use less. So you could pretty much be done with this if you wanted to. But I want to really make sure it's secure for the whole day. So I'm going to do one more bobby pin. And then you just keep tucking until you like it. So there. That's the hairstyle. It's super easy, super quick. It's amazing for when you want to be lazy. You got a hairstyle going on instead of putting your hair up in a bun. It's like you put yourself together, but not really. So after I finish doing the bun, I also like to give my hair a little bit more texture. For you finer hair girls, this is gonna be amazing. You'll probably love doing this. I use the Orbe Texturizing Spray, and I'll just randomly just grab it and just spray. The Orbe per can is pretty expensive, but it's totally worth it. I do have another alternative for you if Orbe is not in your budget. This is the, eh, where can we see that? There we go. This is the Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun Finish Spray. Wow, that's a mouthful. But yeah, it works just as great. I feel like with, compared to the Orbe spray, you have to use a little bit more of the sprays with the Dry Spun Finish. I can't say Dry Spun Finish. 
it's like a tongue twister for me, but whatever. But you get what I'm saying. You get you have to spray more to get the look versus with this, you need to spray less. So it kind of balances itself out. I prefer the Orbe spray, but when I know if I'm going to be on a shoot and it's really not in their budget, <laughs> I use this. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. Like so with the Orbe, you use less. It's a little bit pricier, yes but it's totally worth it, in my opinion. And then with the Bumble and Bumble spray, it works just as great, but you have to use more. It is less, but you have to use more. So, you know, mm, to each its own, whatever you wanna do, go for it. But to be honest, I love this stuff. This hair look is very lived in. It's super effortless. So if you're into that whole like aesthetic and style, I feel like you should give this hairstyle a try and I think you'll like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you later. Like I said, play with it. Like create your own shapes and what flatters your face. You could go in the back if you want. You could go off to the side. It's so, the possibilities are endless. So yeah, enjoy and have fun. Bye.